I'm Anthony Bucco, and today we're going to work with Cabrales Blue Cheese Red Wine Poached Pears. So we're going to work with a couple different things. One, the Cabrales. The Cabrales is a great cheese. It's a Spanish blue. It's got a little residual heat to it. So with that, it makes sense to pair it with something that's sweet. What we want to do is we want to create balance on the plate. And in this instance, what we're going to do is we're going to work with a pear. We're going to be working with just a simple red wine poaching. Now the red wine poaching will encompass things like honey, the wine, sugar. We'll do some hard spices in there, things like cinnamon, things like allspice, clove, even some star anise. And the goal behind that is to really fortify. Pears are a great carrier for flavor. It's kind of their, their makeup. So it gives us a chance to really kind of push forward a lot of different elements and a lot of different flavor profiles uh, to really match well with the cheese. So to take the pear from raw to poach, it's a very simple process. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to peel down the outer skin. From there, we'll cut the pear in half and we'll take out the internals, the core, the seeds. From that point, again, in the, in, in, in the spirit of keeping things moving based on the fact we don't want them to oxidize, we're going to go right into the red wine. So that said, before we have the, the pears in, in the process of starting, we're going to fortify our red wine, which means we'll start out by toasting our hard spices, adding our wine, and adjusting the sweetness. Now in an effort to dissolve the sugar and or honey in the red wine, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bring it up to a just boil. That'll give us a chance to really kind of allow that sugar to break down in the wine. And then from there, we'll prep our pears and we'll drop them in the wine and the rest is basic. It's about taking the pear from raw to cooked. We're not looking to take the texture completely away. We're looking to kind of maintain a little bit of bite of the pear. So we're probably looking at about 12 to 18 minutes just based on the small size of the seckle pear. If you're using a larger pear, it's obviously going to take a little bit longer, but we want to make sure that, uh, that the pear is still al dente, still has texture, and eats very well. Again, we're pairing up against a blue cheese, so we want to make sure the pear maintains a level of hardiness. Mm -hmm.